Welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to reprint acknowledgement receipts. That's for the case maybe you have lost or you want to see to track of the payment that we have been doing. Uh, before I proceed, guys, give us a support by subscribing, like and share, and turn on your notification. I'll take you through the steps. First, you need to to log into your KRA website. We we'll just need to open the browser then you key in the your kri personal number you type then you continue key in the password that you are using then you do the security checks Then you log in. It will take you to the home page. Uh, for this particular case, I, I want to reprint my acknowledgement seats. So as usual, as you, you uh, for the dashboard of the site, so there is the top tab where you, you go to the useful links. Then you scroll down to consult and reprint the acknowledgement receipt. So I'll click there. It will take me to the taxpayer details. Now you can see the pin, the, the section. Now I will need the, co the consort criteria that I want to use. So for this particular case, I want the taxpayer I will, from the drop box for the business processing category, where you, you need to select select the taxpayer return processing. Then the business sub process uh, is the original return filing. Then the obligation name, the, for this category, it usually falls so many category. Maybe you, you want, maybe for your, for income tax, you can get for income tax residential. Income tax residential, it's over here. But for this particular case, I want to 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 reprint acknowledgement it's for income tax rent rent or income. So I'll select. So then I'll select the period, the, the tax period from the period that I want to that's from last year. That's uh, date 01, 01, 2023 for the tax period year ending 31st 31st 12 2023 then make sure that the data that you have keyed is correct there and the category that you want to reprint with so then click consult then you you do you want to consult with the given details then i'll press ok now as you can see for the system it, it is telling me it is indicating that no data found so guys, I'll be showing you how you can be able to get the acknowledge if for the site is not uh, pulling the data for you. So thank you. I'll just need to go back home. Then the, uh, on the dashboard, there is what we, under the e-return, there are, there are four windows over the dashboard. There is the e-return section. So there is consult e-return. E so I'll click over there. So uh, under the tax obligation, I'll click in income tax, rent or income. Uh, the type is original then the tax period that I want to pull the data from then maybe I want to check from last year let's say around let's say last year around let's say September August then to the return period to last month that's uh, April that year then I'll click to consult then uh, do you want to view yes i will proceed yes yeah for this dashboard you will be able to show you the data for the period that you have recorded for the particular it's showing me from the the uh, from august to the to march now indicating that the april month has not been paid for so i'll be able to view and uh, on this first the first column the serial number the second one is acknowledgement number then the data froze so on the end, on the end column where there is view return file then it has an option that is active for view so you can be able to click and you can be able to view then it gives you a very best option of reprint so you can be able to print there the acknowledgement receipts for the individual period that you have requested that's a very awesome uh, method how you can be able to so you can be able to proceed with the going back to the useful links where you had previously used the link so by uh, under the acknowledgement number having been given the acknowledgement number now you can be able to copy this one then you control C on your keyboard 
because the website does not enable right clicking then you go back to useful links then you click consult and reprint so under this category you just fill in the normal process under the business process you click the taxpayer return processing then the business subtitle is original for the obligation name is tax uh, for this particular case i'm dealing with the income tax for rental income George. then i'll press now having having pasted the the acknowledgement number that you had uh, selected uh, on the previous page then you click consult now do you want to consult with the given date then you press ok then it will show you the the data over here with the acknowledgement number then the status is approved then you can be able to click on that one then it will download the acknowledgement number the, it will be able to download the acknowledgement receipt then you can be able to open and now you'll be able to be having all the details that you needed from the other side that you had consulted guys i hope you have learned from the video uh, if you are not subscribed guys remember to subscribe like and share and i'll see you in our next video thank you